so let's we'll start first so first uh, this is today's session, second session so uh before recap so let's we'll see you know what we're supposed to learn today uh second session on marketing first session we already covered lo1 lo1 we discuss about be able to critically analyze the principle of strategic marketing management we discuss what is the management marketing what is meant by strategic marketing so second our learning outcome is be able to apply tools for analyzing our analysis with the business environment in strategic marketing so which we discussed different tools we mentioned yesterday but we will not really apply it today we will we'll be looking more application side and we'll discuss you know under this learning outcome we have a three different assessment criteria 2.1 develop a smart uh, strategic marketing objective what is smart which will go through specific measurable achievable realistic and time defined second 2.2 critical review in external and competitive environment what is meant by external environment and uh, we'll discuss about draw conclusion about the internal and stakeholders environment in the organization perform so all this today lessons will be focused and uh, so we'll try to address learning out come to today so let's you know please anybody knows what we learned during our last lesson what is the definition of marketing any thought what we need to look around marketing how you can define marketing in your own words is it how how do you, if marketing is how do you get the products to the people how do you get them to know you've got the product that's marketing Okay, good. So, what is the key difference between marketing and selling? Is there any difference between marketing and selling? Yes, marketing is. So, during. Okay, go ahead. Yes. No, go ahead. Okay. Well, then. No, marketing no, no, that's is. Fine. You define. Marketing is. In effect, the process of getting the goods to people, while selling is, is that exchange of the goods, isn't it? Well, that's my understanding of it yes, from well yesterday. Done. Yes, good, great. So marketing is more customer satisfaction. So we'll put in the customer first, yes? So always we're yes. putting ourselves in the customer shoes. We're always looking in the customer eyes. So we always looking you know how we can uh, improve things by fo- uh, putting the customer needs and uh, wants first so that's really key focus for us but if we're lo- using the selling concept so sales mean you sell sell volume is more focus instead of marketing there is no customer satisfaction concern key focus on the customer satisfaction so just you know we want to earn the profit so we really bother about profit than anything else but when we looking marketing marketing is more focus on the customer satisfaction creating value for customer delivering the value added product to customer so these all you know we discuss we discuss cim marketing definition we discuss ama is a cm cim is a institute of marketing within the uk the big chartered institute <clears throat> and uh, we discuss ama is american marketing association then we discuss about what meant by marketing strategy how we can make marketing strategy and strategy need to be focused both an internal and external element we discuss strategy mean is action planning plus management is mean planning controlling implementation organizing all these are the function of management your job to create an environment to achieve the organization objective where we discuss about marketing management mean you manage your getting activity in a way and you utilize the resources effectively to create a value for customer so that was the really focus uh, yesterday session so today we'll move to a second session which is uh, will be
so let's will go through so welcome everyone let's will start our second lesson which is all about lo2 is my email address there if you have any question drop me email so now we'll discuss today's be able to apply the tool so we'll discuss different tools we can use you know so our first to discuss yesterday we also discussed as well different marketing concept so we discuss about first and yesterday we discussed production concept so like in hospitality industry innovation on hospitality product is key focus starting point focus on the satisfying high demand technology getting mass production so in a production concept is the mass production lower price so profit through mass sale so selling more and more goods producing with the lower cost and you will earn the profit that was the production orientation concept and is a pro product orientation existing hospitality product and services maintain and improve existing product so improvement of the product that was the key minor improvement adoption of the existing marketing mix six we discuss about uh, four p's product price promotion and place so profit depend upon the stable market condition which we discuss and next uh, selling orientation concept which is more focus was the sale volume then we discuss yesterday marketing orientation concept profit through customer satisfaction so that was really under the marketing concept marketing orientation you focus on the marketing based on the research and make meeting the needs and the wants of the customer and the customer satisfaction was the key and then we discussed about social marketing so welfare of the public welfare so profit through enhance the image and the customer satisfaction enhance the image image through helping local community uh, like you know we mentioned about an example of food bank uh, procter and gamble and unilever so these you know the small social concept now companies using instead of you know focusing on production product selling or marketing no they more focus on the social marketing so that we also discussed yesterday session as well so next our focus will be now so we'll go through strategic planning what is meant by how we can make a plan so strategic planning involve adopting the firms take advantage of opportunity in its cons consistently changing environment so think about you know the brexit always changing the environment you may be heard about lot of you know this year marks and spencer sales it dropped by 6% uh, during the uh, christmas be uh, the peak season when the new year and the sales uh, due to christmas always high so now is becoming low so we need to look around how we'll make a strategic plan in our organization uh, so whenever we'll make the strategic planning i will do plan or uh, make a strategic plan is mean the long term planning define the company's mission setting the company's objective so we discuss about objective what sort of objective whenever you set your objective it need to be smart smart stand for s specific m stand for measurable a stand for achievable r stand for realistic and t stand for time defined so if you looking the smart objective like achieving a diploma level 7 qualification so smart you need to be specific what really you want to achieve within it can we measure it can we achieve in few days no it's not a smart objective because smart objective we say okay let's you know we can achieve this qualification in 9 months or 12 months you know max so we can look around okay so we can measure the performance after every 2 months every 6 week so that's the specific in time is realistic because it's match with the reality people are achieving it so designing the business portfolio different product you know we can they like in our qualification different unit can be our portfolio 
then the business unit and planning, marketing, and other functional strategies. So we can for the study for the different strategy online learning using different quizzes, watching the uh, watching different news on business news or uh, go through you know these PowerPoint recording as well. So these are different strategies we can use as action plan to achieve mission statement. Why we are in a business. Uh, we all know what is meant by mission. Of course. Yes. So mission is the purpose of organization. Why we are in the business setting the company objective. So we discuss, you know, objective need to be smart. So mission should be converted to supporting objective at each level of management. So mission leads to setting different uh, layers of objective with different authority of objective like you know uh, departmental objective um, operational objective we can look around overall corporate objective so business objective and the marketing objective need to be work we want to as a business to maximize our market share and in the market objective we want to satisfy the consumer needs and wants and we use different promotional tool to achieve because our marketing is supposed to lead to the business objective, which as a whole business are the corporate objective. Business portfolio collection of the businesses and the product that make up the company. Steps in the business portfolio planning. In the light of firm's current business portfolio and develop strategies for growth or downsizing to shape the future portfolio. Like recently, uh, we heard about uh, Land Rovers going to cut the jobs, 5,000 workers throughout the world because, of course, after looking, they are making downsizing also known as a right sizing. So downsizing also known as a right sizing. So right sizing of implied, right sizing of the product because more people are buying electric car. So we need to be focused on the more innovations in the product. Otherwise, we can't sustain in the market. So we have to develop the strategy how we'll do and the portfolio analysis evaluation of the product and the businesses that make up the company by management step identifying the strategic business unit. We discussed three, like think about the Ford. Ford have a different brand. Ford Mondeo, Ford Fiesta, Ford Focus. So these are all SBUs. So each SBU assessing the attractiveness of its various SBUs. So in some may be looking in the fuel efficient, some may be more uh, space within a car. So we need to look around. We need to segment these according to the different classes based on the different segmentation method. So we can focus. So maybe some SBUs we need to be uh, like a different brand we need to phase out. Purpose uh, is to be direct resource towards the more profitable businesses while phasing out the dropping the weaker ones. So weak, weak, uh, weaker, maybe we can to external or the local, and we'll focus. You know, those are giving us more profit. So uh, yesterday we also discussed about BCG. BCG stands for Boston Consultant Group. They gave the metric is called growth share metric. So if we look on the left is the written their market growth rate and the market relative market share. So market growth rate and the market share. So we need to look around the star product. Those are star high market growth and the high market shares. So when you have a high market share and there is a growing fastly, we can say this product is star. Like when we think about the Apple i product is Apple iPhone is a star. These are the star product. Then some cash costs. Uh, if we look the iPad or tablet, these the market growth rate is low, but still the market relative market shares are high. There they are giving a lot of cash, so that still is a cash cost. So question mark. Maybe we need to think about the smart uh, smart tallies. Uh, so these may be a question mark. That question mark can be converted. We need to make the strategy. Those question mark product their shares are relatively low growth rate and relatively low market share. 
these becoming the question mark either we will keep it or we will kick them out or we will phase out them we not keep in our portfolio in our so those is a question mark we need to make the strategy advertising restructuring so all this we need to be focused you know that those are the question mark those question mark can be converted to cash cows or can be stars uh, then some look the desktop maybe are we looking um, various other music instrument because online music or record players those becoming a dock yes so if we'll keep it it's because other areas other product portfolio their profit maybe need to inject in dogs to sustain it so that's not a good strategy maybe we need to fail we need to sell it or we need to stop it because these can be outdated so we need to look around the when we do and it's quite good you know bcg growth metrics to apply when we do the product portfolio for the company analysis so this is quite share metrics evaluate the company let's be in term of market growth and relative market problem difficult time consuming and costly to implement sometime and difficult to define as we use and uh, made market shares and growth those are disadvantages of this model everything in social science we need to look around some advantages some disadvantages so in this case as well next model we looking uh, yesterday we did, i mentioned agor ansof is a italy uh, sorry russian mathematician to america and studied in harvard business school gave this model and which is called uh, the product and market expansion grid and uh, uh, agor uh, ansof metric so existing product in existing market so maybe think about um, apple or any other company so existing product in existing market if they are selling selling so we can say the market penetration so really penetration is mean as low strategy where you're not growing it you just keep your product and you sustain it so if you want to grow in more maybe you're looking new market if it exists so existing product maybe we are introducing firstly in american market and then our european market then we move to the african market so these are market development is known as a market development with the existing market product when we looking new products existing market but like you know the current market maybe we in phone 8 or 10 this market development so new product in market it can be to all the some features of new as well so diversification may be the new product in totally new market maybe some glasses um, or some other um, innovative uh, equipment maybe headphones or various others so new product diversification or maybe we are selling skewed lounge now in the new market in with the new product that's a diverse in term of apple question any By question way, anyone the, the recording is not is is uh, is cracking the 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 i can't hear you properly it's just as just interference on the on the record uh okay uh, i'll make sure you know from my end if it's a uh, an issue so we discuss about unsuf matrix yes so unsuf is based on the four strategies so those are based on uh, diversification i mentioned just now so diversification mean totally different product in new new product in new market so we not existing market okay downsizing we earlier mention is mean the right sizing reduce the uh, business portfolio by eliminating the product and that's you know we discuss you know overall strategy can be reason for downsizing can be rapid growth of the company lack of experience in the market change in the marketing environment or decline the particular so role of marketing in planning provides a guiding philosophy marketing concept company strategy should get customer value and build a profitable relationship with the key customer 
profitable ratio and provide to the strategic planning help identify the market opportunities, assess the firm's potential to take advantage. So all this we need to look around partnering. So it's quite now is a crucial make partnership. So in different, so giving them shares to workers that the help, you know, making the partner the sense of ownership. Yes. So they are honored in the business. That is quite crucial. Value chain, a series of internal departments that carry out value creation. Firm assess the depends on how well the various department coordinated. Marketers should ensure all the department customer focus and develop a smooth functioning value chain. So that need to be. We'll go through further, you know, the value chain model. Uh, partnering with the others in the marketing system, companies should assess their internal value chain and value chain for their supply distribution and their customers. So value delivery network we need to set up with the company. So how we'll create a value. So we have a good relationship. We involve in the uh, our suppliers as well, and we, that will help you know to create the value for more the customer and the entire system. So marketing strategy is the logic by which the company hopes to create the value and achieve the profit profitably customer relationship. Marketing mix we discussed yesterday as well. Product price, place and promotion. So four P is quite you know we need to balance between them and we need to when we'll make the marketing strategy we need to analyze those four P's as well. Marketing analysis planning and control how we can do market segmentation. Segmentation means dividing the total market into small segments. So we can segment group of buyer who have a different needs, characteristic or behaviors who might require product. Are. So market segment group of consumer who respond in a similar way to a given set of marketing efforts. So we can uh, segment, we can segment on different basis, behavior segmentation, psychographic, demographic segmentation on the basis of income group, on the basis of upper, lower, and middle class. So these are different bases of segment we can segment. And that will help, you know, for the market targeting, evaluating each market segment attractiveness and selecting one or more segment to enter. So we can look around market target. So how we can do main this is segmentation geographic. Customer within 10 miles of M25, for suppose is example, customer location, region, urban or ruler, then we can classify it. And that's a geographic where we want to be, in which area. We want to of the product we want to be. Demographic, A level, and university. student, maybe we can look around demographic basis of segmentation, age, gender, occupation, social, economic groups, or classes we can. Behavior segmentation, customer wanting a value for money, pulse buy, so rate of usage we can look around how many people because business user and a um, normal customer, consumer. So benefits or loyalty status, we can look around how they loyal it. So on the basis of this, we can segment and we can reward them as well. Psychographic personality who prefer to buy or get product like, you know, think about a lot of people, you know, happy to pay more money because they think, you know, organic renewable energy like as a company. So we need to be segment that's a psych. So we are contributing, of course, we need to be ethically, but it's the psychographic of the people's attitude, the classes, so towards, you know, environment, so we can stick our product accordingly. Any, any question? No. Okay, great. So positioning, how we can position ourselves, arranging for a product to occupy a clear, uh, different image, different uh, benefits of the product in terms of, you know, mind of uh, target customer and then being with the differentiation. Differentiation, the market is offering, create the superior 
customer value entire marketing program should support to choosing positioning strategy how will position in the market so we can use the positioning map or the perceptual map and what the people have a perception towards our product so when we're looking the marketing mix product price promotion and play so we need to be focused on product how many variety of the product offering what sort of the quality we offering what sort of the design we are features brand name packaging so all we need to look at features of the product under the product and promote we need to focus what sort of the promotion we are using uh, and we need to be balanced you know advertising more personal selling sale promotion and public relation price so list of the price discount allowances skimming skimming mean high price penetration mean low price behavior means 7.99 we discussed yesterday behavior pricing place and we can use different channel of distribution place is mean where we really want to sell how we will deliver the product that come under the place those are the four p's when we target customer our intent to positioning ourselves we need to be focused on four p's as well product price promotion and place so there is a lot of criticism of four p's or make under emphasized uh, the service product because four p is less you know, focus on which will go, go through the processes and the people we need to be look around seven p's and nine p's even now the so need to include packaging as the product this uh, really focus on the uh, buyer of uh, four c's four c's you know the f four p's need to be focused more on four c's as well four c's is customer what the customer have a problem we need to focus can provide it customer cost what cost the customer our customer affordability convenience these product are the convenience customer can buy and we need to look around you know how we can um can communication how will communicate with the customer then money marketing planning implementation and close control make a plan develop a strategic plan develop a marketing plan and then implement carried out the plan and how will control control me corrective action because we need to uh, measure in terms of the sale reports weekly monthly yearly market share so we can use unsuff or the bcg matrix you know to check it and we can change our strategies accordingly if our marketing plan is not working effectively so yesterday i we a bit you know discuss we can make the strategy so in a business environment sort so internal capability that may help company to reach its objective what strength we have what resources we have what abilities we have what capabilities we have what competencies we have in our organization that's all come under the strength so weaknesses may be some areas we are uh, we don't maybe we don't have a innovation but we have enough resources we can hire the consultancy company that will help us uh, provide us some research and development you know so as it's a situation can be we can look around we are strong and the opportunity that situation can be sw sw is mean strength and opportunity this is the ideal situation to do business s and o is the ideal situation to do business because you are strong you have a knowledge but outside is a plenty of opportunity so this is the ideal situation then the second situation can be s t s t mean you are strong but outside threat but if it is you are strong outside there are the threats you can overcome on those because you have a knowledge you have expertise you have a more market share so these threats you know like a competition growing good. so you can you can um, overcome all these all thread is if is a weakness you're weak but outside is a lot of thread so that's called mini mini approach where you are we have a minimum uh, we have a lot of weaknesses we need to be overcome these weaknesses we have a lot of threads we need to minimize that so it's very difficult because in that situation is better to don't do business or don't enter in that market where you are weaker there are a lot but in business we also call higher the risk 
at the board as well. So we need to be in this case focus. Any question? No, it's okay. By the way, you know this this recording. Do you do you upload it like the the we've done some professional management, but I haven't seen anyone for marketing strategy. Do you uplo upload the lectures as well? So that, uh, yes, so I'm what, going to upload. I'm okay, going to okay. upload all the recordings as well as okay, the slides. Okay, thank with you. With all the books. Hmm. Okay. You're welcome. You know, sorry, I. Okay, marketing environment, outside uh, forces. We need to look. Okay, whenever we're looking marketing environment, we're looking to environment, micro environment, and the macro environment. Micro is mean internal, and it's a controllable. Macro is we can't control it. We have to adjust. Brexit is, is not uh, as a company uh, is not our control. We have to adjust our operation according to whatever will happen. What come under internal environment are the micro environment, the company suppliers intermediaries, competitors, public, and customer. These normally we cluster them under the my. So customer, we have a different customer. So consumer markets, where the actual consumer, consumer mean end user, the business marketers buy and sell it, resellers market in the market where people are buy and resell the goods, government market, where the government companies are the organization, they buy the goods and the international market, you know, internationally in overseas, we have a customer. So these are all the markets we need to be focused as well as an environment if we are selling the product abroad. Major forces in the company macro environment is lying big, uncontrollable, like a Brexit, domestic, economic, natural, technological, political, and cultural, all these factors we need to look around. So when we're looking the political in the country and then in the market, what is the political stability like think about the labor and conservative to different uh, both you know a different manifesto. So it can be political stability five years company are the really good tax policies like you know conservative recently tax and wealth has been changed I mean change dominant political ideology focus and that we have to adjust ourselves to be market shares as a company marketing strategies we need to be replied inflation we if we are a company dealing with the exchange rates we are selling goods you know so we maybe think about where if we are so we need to look at our growth taxation unemployment Unemployment rate we used to be six percent now we have a four percent. When unemployment rate is low, which is mean the people have more purchasing power, that will help us, you know. So social factor we need to look around the living conditions, religious belief, our uh, employment patterns, and technology like yesterday we mentioned as well the Nokia's examples of fast chaining technologies. We are moving more digital, our digital product are more innovative our technological features with the within a product so we need to be focused on and we are when we have to adjust what's come under the demographic study of human uh, pub, uh, all populations in terms of density location so when we're looking demographic all this we need to we economic factor we need to look around under the economics environment natural factor we need to look around uh, different trends shortage of the raw material Pollution, so we need to look around the diesel cars for suppose example. So it's going to be congestion charge, environmental CO2, the green levy on those cars. So from 2020, so it's a huge market. Maybe we need to be focused on more on the electric car manufacturers. So technology, we need to look around the radio frequency identification is the technology track the product through the various points. We need to be focused on. So these are we need to be look around in term of so political environment I earlier mentioned. So next month we are discussing about quarter five forces model. Michael is quite popular. He wrote many books and he gave us many theories. He gave one theory the quarter five forces. So five forces when you looking at analysis and the making of marketing strategy. So we need to be focused on the Michael, uh, Michael Porter five forces. So he 
he mentioned you know when the company want to make their strategies we need to look around the five forces so these are the five forces determine the power of supplier so if it's a few supplier supplying you the goods they have a more power if there are the many supplier they supplying the raw material they have a if many account and providing the services so it means the supplier power is less yes so we need to look around the supplier concentration availability of substitute inputs so on this you know we need to look around under the supplier power thread of the new entrant we need to think about which industry we are in and what sort of the threads we are so barriers how we can draw the barrier like economies of scale if as a company we are more focus on the economies of scale we can compete with the foreign companies product differentiation if we are dealing with the different product we can differentiate ourselves you know capital requirement switching cost to buyer so all these points you know we need to be focus on one is come under the thread of the new entrant so we can draw the barriers so revivery existing firm how many existing firm competing with each other within a industry so that will help you know we need to be look around so if we are in accounting firm how many accounting firms in our area they are competing with us you know maybe we can draw the barriers we can differentiate ourselves and the third of substitute like some product you know if the price of one thing will go up people can switch from other like you know think about lot of substitute mobile phones industry so chinese company they making you know so we need to look around so it's like in what the thread of substitute you know how we'll make sure we can overcome these threads as a company and what strategies we need to be adopt to be overcome determine buyer power so what are the buyer power they have a power of negotiation they can switch from one company to other company by use multiple sources thread of the back all these you know we need to be focus on so these are the porter five forces so when we will do analysis we can use the porter five forces we can say high moderate a low buyer power supplier power thread of substitute is a high or low in this product in this industry competition in our industry is a high or low how many firms we have how many is population you know how much shares we can get it within the market so all these are things you know we can look around so these all we can look around within a uh, in the market so porter five force is quite useful model to apply when we use you know and when we we'll make our organization strategies marketing strategies specific okay any question no it's okay okay so uh, let's will do quick you know is uh, quiz on uh, sort of you know little quiz to clear porter five forces that's the model so okay can you see my screen no i'm st i'm still on the on where does the tutor okay and i can see it now okay let's you know we'll go through we discuss porter five forces five forces are there so this is you know sort of a bit you know we're looking the option so which of these would be most likely to result higher barrier to entry higher barrier to entry we can create you know which option you think you know is a higher barrier is higher higher industry profit market leader are the much tougher industry regulation are the government support you know I have better to enter the industry. Well, in, in government regulation will be a tough, not a profit, because I think this is C, much tougher industry regulation. Okay. Well done. Correct. Great. Great. So a significant reduction in the barrier to entry should result in, in the barrier entry reduction. Yes. any company can be or uh, what sort of you know the benefit can be should result uh, 
going on in terms of circuit. No, it will be a higher if there's a lower barrier, that the higher intensity of com com competitive rather, which is okay. a. Well done, great, correct. Okay, next, which of these is the most significant barrier to entry in the steel production industry? Well, it be skill and experience. Should be, it should be deep, scale and experience, isn't it? Well then, great, correct. So tell us swift success in the getting Apple to pay. Priority on the Apple Music is example of what? Thread of the new bargaining power. Thread of substitute. Well, it's bargaining power or supplier. Because he's a supplier, he will have again power. Okay, well done, great, correct. Which of these might be considered as a, a substitute for digital cameras? Oh, smartphones, it should be. Okay, well done, great, correct. Water fire force is essential a model about. Oh, it's competitive. No, no, yeah, competitive rivalry, not market segmentation. Okay, so which option we think? I think D. Maybe it's either A or D, but I think D. Okay, well then, correct, good. Okay, low growth or declining market are usually associated with. Well, it's B, low competitive rivalry. We'll go through. Okay, the the buyer, uh, the power of supplier will be high when? Well, just a few. Producer to minute industry supply B. Well then, correct. Which of the following tend to increase the competitive revivery? Maybe high industry growth rate. Uh, yeah, high industry growth rate. Tend to increase the okay, which, which will go through the bargaining power of buyer customer is likely to be high when so we're looking customer now. Bargaining power of customer. It's likely to be high when there are many customers. If I can even. Well, it's B. A few large customers accounting for majority of sales. Well then, correct. Okay, great. So good. So we can check where we went one or two. Okay, well then. So that was the price competition, lower growth and declining markets are usually associated with, yes? Price competition and lower profit, yes? Okay, yeah, yeah, lower growth, yeah. Yes, so lower, yes, because it's a lower, there is a competition and lower profit, yes? Yeah, because we're declining. Mm -hmm. uh, that was high barrier to exist. Yes, competitive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, high barrier to exist. Okay. Okay. 
okay well done so that's all you know well done it's really good amazing well done so next okay so today lesson we will learn about different models we discuss about porter five forces we recap on different marketing concept so we be able to apply these tools we can use these tools for in the strategic marketing environment we discuss internal and external environment we discuss about bcg metrics we discuss uh porter five forces and uh, we discuss about unsuff metric and uh, we discuss about different basis of segmentation how we can segment the market why we target and position ourselves in the market why this is a crucial and how we can keeping in view of the marketing environment and we can apply different tools anybody any question nope okay so i'll uh, so please if you have any question just drop me email so today we just focus our, our learning outcome too and the next lesson will go through our uh, learning outcome three so in the meanwhile if you have any question drop me email i'll upload all these recording on moodle so please follow the moodle with all handouts as well